Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, this amen, yeah, the truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> it seems that the uh, truth is something that uh, a lot of persons dislike. <laughs> now, uh, making it a binding oath. <laughs> you know, I realize that a lot of fast food restaurants, I mean, there's Yum Brands. Yeah. <laughs> And they have the Taco Times or the Taco Bells or the, the Kentucky Fried Chickens. Yes. <laughs> but quite often what we put in our bodies is the actual feed that the animal was given. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should talk to those in the fast food industry. Yeah. Exactly what kind of feed that they're feeding to the chickens. Because I happen to like chicken nuggets. <laughs> I like chicken nuggets with ranch and I like chicken nuggets with barbecue sauce. Yes. <laughs> And I, I actually do like fast food. I think that they try to do a good job being uh, concerned about the calories in it. Yep. But some of this food seems to be producing a little gas that can be electrified. Yeah. I was thinking about my legs last night and somebody decided to be on me and Explain to me all the things I'm never going to do in life. I might not ever get to Egypt. Yeah. <laughs> or I might not get to that place in Egypt where they have the pyramids and I'd miss out on that. Yeah. <laughs> and I might not ever be a, a mountain climber. Yes. I might, uh, I might not go hiking. Yeah. <laughs> and all the things that I'm never going to get to do as, uh, as an American citizen. Yeah. Now I would say, okay. I would be able to do a lot more if you were to enforce the laws of the United States. Now, the truth, literally true, used as substantive, that which is true, the truth. Yeah. Uh, a word used in strong asservations, fixing, as it were, the stamp of truth upon the assert assertion, which is accompanied in making it binding as an oath. <laughs> You know, we've had a problem with the oaths of office that are not bound by their oaths as if it were something they could say. Mm -hmm. They could have subscribed. Yes. And they could not be held legally liable for the enforcement of it. Amen. <laughs> have you ever sat with a group of individuals in a prayer meeting? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm one of these intercessors that likes uh, prayer meetings. Yeah. <laughs> Been to, well, probably hundreds, maybe thousands of them. Yeah. And before I would actually say amen to anything somebody else was praying, yeah, I'd have to ask myself, do I really agree with what they're saying? You know? And if I didn't, I didn't uh, confront them as if, well, I don't agree with what you're praying. I don't agree with what you're saying. In fact, I don't think it's God's will at all. I would just quietly not respond to their prayer because I was not in one accord. Yes. <laughs> now, there's this idea of when you pray together with other persons. Oh, there's a scripture. Two or three. Or two. <laughs> you need to listen to what they're saying. <laughs> now, um, the synagogues and private houses, it was customary for the people or members of the family who were present to say amen to the prayers which were offered, Matthew 6, 13. <laughs> Let's look at how to pray today. <laughs> you might not be a very good prayer person yourself. Yeah. And uh, maybe you shouldn't pray. Maybe you should just sit there and listen. I know for a lot of those that are men and women that think that children should never shut up. <laughs> As a father, yes, we each take our turn and we listen to each other. Now, for big prayer meetings, let's say there's 20, 30 of you. Yes, I have to sit there for approximately 45 minutes as you each pray, and then I have to listen to what you say. And if I don't agree with it, I don't confront you. I just don't say amen. The truth is, right, I have to live in the truth that I believe that what you're praying is the actual will of God. Oh, my God.